Did you know anything about the West Side Bishops? I know the homie Lucky was starting, he was running where he was like supposed to start now, but I went to prison, I got my case in 73, and it was going to like 77, 78. When I got out, to me they had lost a lot of ground because to me, the reason why I think so, because the East Side didn't support them like they should have. At first, Jimmy and them would support them a lot, but sometimes you get caught up with your own gang, you can't go over there like that. But they end up being like, like 60 years before the West Side just now. They don't got no good no more, you know. But like I said, I'm cool with the 60s too, though. I'm cool with it. almost everybody that treats me like a man. I'm like, I don't dirty mop nobody, and they don't dirty mop me. They might do it behind my back. Right. But you know, I try to respect you. Like I'm gonna respect you. You ain't never done nothing. Why would I disrespect you? I don't know nothing about their disrespect. So I'm not in all that disrespect. And why when I was young, I was different. Right. As I grew old, I was looking not to be in a coffin. I started respecting my life a little more, you know. Mm -hmm. But a whole lot of my friends are dead already, and I'm like, wow. I'm just saying, like, well, God got me for some reason. Maybe it's for these videos. I don't know, but he left me in for a reason, you know. You had mentioned meetings at Roosevelt Park. Did you ever get the platform and have anything to say? No, I was kind of in the cut because I was like, I had a card and Bobby do most of the talking, Jimmy do talking, they just find how everybody doing what's going on and what, you know, try to keep everybody close. Then we talk going to uh, 96th Street, we have meetings, you know, but sometimes you got to move around because the police be coming to run you off. And sometimes you have people back there. But Bobby, Bobby was around, our gang was more organized because it was mandatory to have a meeting, you got to come. You know, if, if, if when, and anything without a leader is doing to fail, you know that. Mm -hmm. Hammer, sand, the police, it's got to be a leader, a chain of command. But don't, if everybody got to say so, nobody got to answer to nobody. So, you know, that's why I believe in everything. I never want to be the leader. I believe in a chain of command because without a chain of command, that means that you can't tell me nothing. You ain't my shot quarter. And, and, and they kind of right. Mm -hmm. That's going to cause conflict amongst one another in the game because. You know it's a leader, he got to answer everything, you got to do what he say, or deal with it. But you know, a lot of people don't like leaders. To me, I was always cool with leaders because I, I knew my position, I knew what to do. A lot of dudes is in the game just for the color, the fame, the fame, but they ain't really want to go do nothing. Right. You tell them, show it to me, well, I got to do it. Right. Like, man, you you, you wearing our colors, you out here partying like rock stars, so sometimes you got to put a little work in. If it ain't nothing but steal a car or breaking something, get some coats or guns or whatever, but you ain't, everybody ain't got to be a killer. Because everybody ain't going to be a killer, but everybody got to play a part, you know, in the puzzle, you know. Speaking of colors, before you go to Penn in 73, was red a thing? I don't remember being a color. Not, not, I don't remember us wearing no red. Okay. But when I got out, they told me we were wearing red. I said, well, I'm guess what, you know, I love y'all, but y'all wear red. I'm not really claiming no color. I'm saying that, but I know what my heart is, you know, I'm just saying that to me. You know, just, just be different, you know what I'm saying? Copy worker, but I know my heart, even the Crips know my heart. My heart, I don't claim a blood. I claim a bishop, because I was around before they became bloods. I know bloods in my home, I'm not going to ever take that from them. So, you know, but uh, I didn't vote on that, you know what I'm saying? And I figured I, I would have had a vote, but you know, I know by law I'm a blood. I just claim bishop, though. That way you can't tell me I can't talk to the sixes or the eight, nine East Coasters or anybody. I can talk to the 40s because. I'm not, I can do what I want to. And any man should be able to do what he want to. Well, I tell my little homies, you ain't got to just hate Crips because they never did. You don't even know what, why we feeling with Crips. Mm -hmm. You have no idea why you don't like that guy. I know Crips supposedly turned out a lot of parties back in the day. Did the bishops turn yeah. out a lot of parties? Yes. Tell me about it. Now, I mean, I was one of them. <laughs> so sometimes you just get tired and say, or sometimes, just say you have a party. Only so many people can fit in that house. Mm -hmm. Now they start turning the folks down and people get mad. So somebody like me over at the back door, but come on in, y'all. You know, they're going to start tripping the head. Why you getting here? Shut up. Ooh, it's going to turn the party out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just get tired and say, we're going to go, let's turn it out. We don't want to party no more. we just assholes, to be honest. Did, uh, I know this is early, 72, 73, but did, uh, did you guys meet up with other gangs like Bounty Hunters or Athens? Yeah, Let me tell you, if we ever really, I want to say yeah, but I can't really, I wouldn't put my life on it. I know I know we had good reports with like Athens, the Bounty Hunters, 
Who else? Which is so good because some hoods weren't even around back then. I don't want to say their names. They get mad if they only could lie to them and say they were there longer than that. But a lot of hoods that's known right now wasn't even created back in 72 and stuff like that. They might have came along 73, 74, but they want to say they were there from day one, but they wasn't. And I'm not trying to put them out there. Half people mad at me. Come and shoot me in the back of my head, man. You lied about my hood, you know. But I like your timeline. You on point? Um, did uh, you ever run across a guy named Barefoot Pookie? Westside Crew? I ran across him before I said he was really barefooted too. I met him and he was a soldier. He was, I met him with somebody, I don't know who I was with, but like I said, we went everywhere and Barefoot Pookie was really barefooted, but he could fight. He wasn't a buster. We didn't change age going more, but I know the guy, you know what I'm saying? How about the Pueblo Bishops? Do you remember when they came about? I don't know what year, but I know Jimmy was very instrumental in them starting. I think Jimmy's cousin, I don't know his name, was the leader, and Jimmy went down there. I don't know if he told me, told me he, he was into them getting organized. Okay. But Jimmy got a lot to do with the Pueblo Bishops. Jimmy Lavender to do. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you ever go down to the Pueblo? Yeah, I went down there a little bit, I bet you know. We're not taking what we're taking. We're not yeah, taking what we're I went down to Pebbles, you know, but I was too busy in 72, 73, really low riding. I had to share with the hydraulics. I was going to come from the west side. I didn't really, I went down, I know the guys, but I wasn't really, I was just, to me, back then, to be honest, to me, people ain't gonna like it. To me, my hood was one of the hardest hoods they had. I had a lot of my homeboys, you mentioned their names, they was all soldiers. So a lot of them wasn't really in the shooting, they was in the fighting back then. So back then, a lot of them guys didn't have no hell of a fighter, they had shooters, but they didn't shoot that much back then. Mm -hmm. so we'd go fight anybody, anywhere, and with clubs or bats or pipes, anything, we just did that and kept it pushing. And even with hands sometimes, we got to recognize the guitar, we ready to go, just brr, stop beating up people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they take the ace deuces and they had to, you gotta leave, you gotta leave with ace deuces, you wouldn't know, you's a buster. Okay, look, you keep talking about all these fighters. Name me five of the top fighters in your area. They don't have to be vicious, but in your area. Before you, know, you went through, you, you tell me I'm the gun now. Nah, it could be 50 of them, but just give me five or six good ones that you knew could fight. I knew Jimmy could, I mean, Bobby could fight. Jimmy was cool. Wrangler could fight and Ralph. Remember why he's fighting Ralph? He Ralph's better than fight. He Ralph you down. Ooh. Robert Munster could fight. You talking about older guys too, or? Your age around your Ooh, age. Craig and Donnie Boy could fight. Okay. Mavenu. You yeah, too old. All them dudes, I'm just saying, you know, Robert was our age. Okay. And uh, ooh, I'm trying to not miss nobody, because somebody gonna be mad at me because no, you, be you threw that out there, be too fair. I ain't gonna be mad. I'm taking people. Just say, and it was a lot more. And there was a whole lot more if you could fight. How about Ray Boyce? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna say his name too. Ray Boyce was a major fighter from Nick the Gardens. Mm -hmm. Ray Boyce had major hands. Yeah, Ray. I mean, that one said a lot of names. I just said, Ray, Ray Boyce, I don't know no losses he took. <laughs> Ray Boyce, you, you know a lot of fighters better than I do, but Ray Boyce is a, I always have had hands. He was more of a fighter than a shooter. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think somebody else over there from the Nixon Guards. But like I'm saying, I don't, I don't grew a lot. I'm 67 now, mm -hmm. so a lot of that stuff, we talk about I was 20, 19, 18, we talk about 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. So before you go to prison, what was going on in Washington Park? We used to hang out of Washington Park. That was our little park then. The Bishops? Yeah. Okay. I got out of jail later on, then, then the, the 8 9 East Coast had it, then now it's like a Mexican park. Okay. okay. You just go up, time brings yeah. a change. So when you go to prison, is the neighborhood mainly black or is it mixed? Well, my neighborhood, yes. my neighborhood was all black then. It was like, what about 10 percent Latinos back then? When you was coming up, yes. it wasn't that many, but later on, I get out now, everybody showed their house to go to Reno Valley, Fontana and all that. Now, the essay's got it. I ain't mad because I'm still welcome. When did you get out? I've been, the last time, I've been out like 10, 15 years at the time, but I got a B number, C number, D number, and a J number, so I saw going to prison in February, I got to prison in February 74, and I was 77, came back in 80, got out about 86, came back in 85, and got out, well, I just, just they said the CEO said, Clay, do you like it in here? Well, I just catch 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 the cases though, you know. I took my deal before I go to trial, so I went to that much time. Yeah, that became cliche. They always ask. So your deal, so if you go to trial, I went to trial one time and got, then they gave me seven years, I could have got three. That was the deal. 
I thought I was gonna be the world, but one of my witnesses choked on me. Mm. And now I think I can do that too late for the deal now. Oh, let me back up for a minute. You mentioned Raymond Washington could fight, but he could really wrestle. Had you seen him fight? I like, seen him fight a few people. He was good, but he ended up to wrestle because he sometimes wrestling is for fighting. A guy in shock, you can grab a spinning real fast, that's still for the fight. Everybody ain't no boxer. But it's all about winning. If you gotta kick him, bite him, or stab him, you want to win. That's how I was taught to win is a win. I mean, if I fight you and see a club, I'm hit you with it. That wasn't fair. Oh well, I feel good, I won. A lot of people say you gotta go ahead and come. All right, I'm gonna go head up to me if anything I can grab. Right now I gotta I might hit you with that thing right there because you gotta say this dude don't like to fight, you fight better than I thought you could fight. You get some good with them, I'm gonna grab that camera, hit your side of the head with it. Because <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not used to being fighting for no hours like the box. Right, right, right. I'm trying to get over to my partner, let's get up out of here. It's always coming, you know, but fighting to me is a quick thing. It ain't no four or five rounds. Just get it over, right? Pick a stuff and I'll get on. Right. Do you remember when Raymond went to prison? Raymond went to jail. I went to prison in 74, and Raymond was already here in 73.